Vivek is Christian, Momo. He's Hindu? I thought for sure I read that he's Christian. Son of a bitch, he's Hindu. Says he practices Hinduism, but shares the same values as Christians. I'm Hindu, I'm not Christian, we're a nation founded on Judeo-Christian values. Holy sh**, I'm so sorry, I swear to God I remember at some point him saying he was Christian. You, you, Republicans aren't going to elect a Hindu Indian to press, are you kidding me? That's too much for Democrats. Democrats could barely muster a, a black man, okay? A f***ing Hindu Indian, no way. Uh, I, I was th thank, thank you for clarifying that. I, I was so, I was so convinced that I remembered him saying that he was Christian. You, you mentioned your faith, which has become an issue on the campaign trail. Yes. In fact, a, a Democratic congressman, prominent Democratic congressman, came to your defense when you were attacked by a bigoted MAGA pastor over your Hindu, Hindu faith. He just came from Iowa. Yeah, I think it's also because he, he keeps saying, like, I believe in God and I worship God. Okay, maybe I'm about to show my ass here and indicate a lot of ignorance on Hinduism, which I admittedly know very little about, but... Hindus believe in more than one god, don't they? Hinduism is not monotheistic. So when you say, I believe in God, like as a Hindu, that doesn't mean... They have a history of electing and choosing in their caucuses conservative Christians, mm -hmm. right? Pat Robertson, Mike Huckabee, yeah. Rick Santorum, the list, goes, the list goes on. Faith has become an issue in presidential politics, right? We've got uh, Obama and Reverend Wright, Mitt Romney, Mormonism, mm -hmm. John Kennedy and his, his Catholic faith. Is your faith fair game in this election? You know what, I'm gonna be very honest. Everything is fair game to ask about in this election. We have to build trust with the public. The GOP is just never getting another politician who doesn't act like a car salesman, are they? Like, w there's never going to be a normal front runner GOP politician. There's never gonna be a guy where we could go, Oh, well, he's a monster, sure, but he acts like a normal person. It's oh, it's just going to be like weirder and weirder people. And so the way I'm running this campaign is nothing's off limits. I'm asking you to put me in the seat of leading this country forward. My job in this election is for you to know, the voters to know who I am and what I stand for. If the voters want what I'm putting up, and I'll be their next president. And if not, I will put my head on my pillow at night knowing that at least I did my part. So am I religious? Yes, I am. I'm Hindu. I'm not Christian. And we are a- Christianity isn't really monotheistic either. The lesser and demigods of old are all just called saints and angels. Um, not really. Like, okay, you might be able to make a technicality argument like that for, for Catholics, because Catholics in a practical sense will sometimes worship like um, Mary Teresa or, or, or Mother Mary, not Teresa, that's the other mother, um, or these saints. Uh, for, for American evangelicals though, like the only thing that American even so American evangelical Christianity is not even monotheistic because it's not even really a religion. There's more like a group hysteria that they all buy into with very little. A lot of evangelicals don't even like pretend to read the Bible. I, I, I oh man, I'm not like super crazy educated. This is this is like knowing better shit, but like. I'm not even going to talk about this. I'm just going to find a video on YouTube of a mega pastor. Hold on. Here we go. Kenneth Copeland, make my argument for me. And uh, give you a chance to raise your income. Praise God. You missed a place to shout right there that you need to get used to this now. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Of course, all of our offerings will go toward the outreaches of Kenneth Copeland Ministries and, and uh, especially Kenneth Copeland Ministries, Canada, and it is, and, and the, the territories under which the Canadian office uh, is. Shigama. Tevre ma humbo brave judis to cinema hunt at K. In Gayo und Uyat Ganyandos dog Sisik Pukukla nam and Breme Nesto. Stelogla Hamalana Lelo Lendilic Ingren in Stelest Karatak. The movement of the Spirit of God 
that has been prayed over, called down, cried over, died over, sought after, people crying. I'm just going to skip that. In these territories, knowing no first rains of a major flood. It has already begun. Not all American evangelicals are Kenneth Copeland supporters, but I feel like they're all Kenneth Copeland supporter coded. I have like no respect for American evangelicals. They're literally calling Jesus weak. They don't believe in anything. Yeah, I feel like American evangelicals have just leaned really hard into the idea that religion is about politics and it's about group identity more than anything else. I don't know if I've ever seen, like in my day-to-day -day life, an evangelical second-guess themselves due to religious practice. I've never seen them engage in modesty or humility or limit themselves or backtrack on a behavior or doubt or whatever because even evangelicism just seems to be a legitimizing mechanism for everything they already believed. Like, I've met plenty of Catholics who have gone, oh, I shouldn't have done that, sorry, you know. I've met Jewish people who have gone, oh, yeah, yeah, I probably shouldn't have. But I have never met an evangelical Christian who seemed to have a moment where they realized, like, ah, I shouldn't have. They're always right. They always think they're right. It's, it's so different with that. It's like, I'm generalizing a bit, of course. I'm talking about tens of millions of people. But like, oh, my God, man. It's who, who here knows what I'm talking about? Have you met like, you know what I'm talking about, right? It's it's this like epidemic of like rural and suburban white people. A lot of them are pretty well off. And like to them, the the religion is literally just like the hammer of God that agrees with everything they've said and done. And they'll they'll bring it up with everything. They will be they will be the most like hedonistic sack of shit in the universe and not give a f But if you do anything that they can use against you, then it's like God's on them, you know, like God's on their side, you know, there's, there's like no introspection at all. I see the same difference with some Muslims. Most will catch themselves with some do what you're saying. There are people of all religious groups who do what I'm saying, who you literally only use it to browbeat, but I'm saying this has been every evangelical that I've ever met. Whereas I have met Muslims, Catholics, uh, Jews. I've never met any Orthodox Christians, so I can't really speak to them who, uh, uh, you know, who, who, who think about this. What about Hindus? I don't know if I've ever met a Hindu. Oh, speaking of. Nation founded on Judeo-Christian values. But here's what I can say with confidence. I share those same values in common. I believe I live by those values more so than many self-proclaimed Christian politicians. And I think that I stand for religious liberty with such ardence that in many ways, I'm going to be a better protector of religious liberties than many of the Christian right politicians, or else we wouldn't see the assault on religious liberties that we see today. And the best part is, nobody is gonna accuse me of being a Christian nationalist as I do it. <laughs> I will. And so a big part of my job is to make concepts like faith and family and patriotism cool again for the next- Ooh, well, good luck, buddy. Would it be surprising if he converts to Christianity eventually? That would be pretty funny, and he probably will do it at some point. Because he's like a shiftless grifter who doesn't believe in anything except for his own ascension to power. So, like, he, he probably will do, like, the Tim Pool or the Dave Rubin thing, where it'll be like, you know... Dave Rubin literally, like, converted to being Christian. Nikki Haley was born Sikh and converted to Christianity? Wait, really? She was a Sikh? Dude, Sikhs are, like, the coolest guys. How the f*** did you... How do you move off of that? What the f***? Haley grew up Sikh. Yeah. Huh. It explains why she had to convert. Google Nikki Haley real name. Like birth name. Nimirata Nikki Randhawa Haley. Holy shit. You really can make it in America. No matter where you're from. Jesus Christ. That's wild. I would never have guessed that this woman would have been named that. What's her ethnicity? Like Southeast Asian or something. Nimirata is such a pretty name. Yeah, it is. Why does she look like this in this picture? Is this the is this her chosen Wikipedia picture? She look she looks like a Chuck E. Cheese animatronic that's about to eat the children that she's lured into the ball pit. What the f is this face? Five Nights at Nikki's, yeah. She's photoshopped in, look at her hair. Um, that could be from a backlight, but either way, you know, it's a professional photo.